What's going on, guys? This is Conscience uh, with Conscience Hip Hop. We're here with my man Warren, so. and we're we're gonna discuss some things about. Um, we're gonna just talk music, man. So I've got a gang of questions uh, for those of you who don't know. Warren uh, is a part of a group called Artificial Christian. Yes, sir. He's also a solo artist. Yeah. He's had plenty of accolades, been on the freshman list at Rapzilla, performed pretty much in a lot of different venues in Arizona. He's originally from New York, but yeah. he's been here for some years now. Yeah, so five years, we're going to yeah. just get some, you know, behind the artist Let's stuff and go through the music process. It's going to be real free flow here. Cool. And I hope this is the seed for many more of these to come. Hey, man, I'm excited about this. And uh, firstly, just thank you for doing this, man. For sure. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. So let's talk about your discography because, you mm -hmm. know, I know some of the things weren't publicly released. Sure. Well, they were publicly released, but not official uh, yeah. paid album projects. Yep. So correct me if I'm wrong here, but we started off with your self-titled Artificial Christian yeah, Project. Yeah, yeah. Was that back in 17? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 17. And it's yeah. crazy because only two years. Right? So the, it's the list right here is about to show yeah. you guys have some serious work put in. Yeah. So we got the self-titled Artificial yep. Project. We got Riviera Nights. Yeah. Follow up to that was crazy. Yeah. Then we have Beautiful Art. Yeah. The collab project yeah. with Mendoza. Um, and so that's Artificial Christian stuff. But then we have the solo route, which yeah. we'll talk later. You know, Warren's been making music for years and years and years. Yeah. Um, he's kind of like me in that regard. Exactly. He's been doing Veteran. this for a, with some OGs. Man. Yeah, bro. We've got little, we've got little yeah, Wayne size discographies, for real, but bro, we're for not going to show man. you that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> but that's um, right. so we got his solo project. He came back with a 120 degrees. Yes, sir. The solo project. It, it's cool because it it almost feels like an Arizona album. Like yeah. it just. Between the the concept of it, the sound, yeah. the, the vibe of it, sure. it just felt it had an energy behind it that yeah. I th I thought was reflective of the title, which you know it's it's kind of rare sometimes that you yeah. kind of can soundtrack that closely to your your title and it concept. was intentional but I, 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 I felt like an arizonian very wrote that album yeah um so so that was really dope cool. and then that leads us to what we're going to kind of talk about today which was his latest release um which is dub's party Dub's party um and is it correct that i was released beginning of may yeah yeah it was may uh, 9th i believe okay i could be wrong there actually i May 12th, yeah. Early May. Let's Early just go May. with that. Let's but go with that. Streaming, it was yeah, a couple yeah, days yeah, 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 exactly. It was done in exactly. January. One day I'm going to get these dates right. One day, <laughs> but just not today. So Dope, anyway, man. we'll keep going. So so tell the audience here, remind folks of the concept of the project, yeah. um, the musical style of it, sure. and just kind of how it's been received so far. Yeah, man. Um, I think, uh, well, firstly, yeah, thank you for going through that whole list. It definitely brings back a lot of memories for yeah. me, um, yeah. you know, with the guys in Artificial Christian and... Um, yeah, you know, here we're doing 120 and Dove's Party. But yeah, I think with 120, um, it was definitely a different period of my life. Mm -hmm. um, I would say that all the music that, you know, we've written for Artificial Christian, I've written solo, um, solo wise, it comes from a period or like things that are going on in sure. our life. So um, in 120, you hear a lot more darkness because, yeah, man, I had a lot of like hard things going on in my life generally. I mean, I was dealing with like my kidneys nearly failing, Jeez. like, you know, and just, um, yeah, uh, that was part of it and just feeling tired, everything that goes along with just being sick, you know, mm -hmm. not being healthy. So you hear that darker tone, but thankfully, you know, that thanks to the goodness and uh, graciousness of God, yeah. right? Like, you know, I've been able to, you know, experience health. And I think once you've been sick or, you know, you experience something like that, it definitely gives you a new perspective. Yeah. So I wanted to make Dove's Party a more celebratory, at least that first okay. um, part of that project to be more celebratory, more upbeat, because um, I think, and um, whenever, I think just generally when you're writing music, mm -hmm. it's always easier to write from a place of pain, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. But, we um, loved it. Yeah, it like it's easy to go yeah, there. That's, yeah. that's easy to go Especially there. Especially for an artist. Yeah, yeah, it's way easy to go there. Yeah. But, um, you know, as a Christian, as, you know, um, some of believe that, you know, our experience is not just one of pain and turmoil. Like we do have these moments of joy yeah. and celebration and just a lot of moments where we can be... Um, thankful yeah. for you know so i wanted that to come through yeah. so in dub's party that was really my goal was to make it something um celebratory and also that sounds something that sounds like arizona you know that's yeah. that's um i'm from new york you know i make no qualms about it i love my home my home will always be my home yeah. but this yeah. is where god has placed me um so yeah. i'm rooted here and um, i love to make music that reflects on my experience here for sure yeah and and i i'm glad you brought that up because sure. like we never like and this might just be like because where i come from you know yeah. we always spot what's not in the picture yeah, and exactly. sometimes we do that to a fault because we don't enjoy the artistry of things sure. but but at the same time it's like 
a lot of these Christian cats out here doing art yeah. are sounding like a life with Christ is not desirable. Right, exactly, <laughs> you know what I'm like, exactly. It's like, bro, are, are, you, are you okay? <laughs> like, like for the dude listening, <laughs> like is that, it, it, is that an invitation or like a, a quick decline? Yeah, exactly, like yeah, I mean you gotta I think, call it the yeah. Eeyore syndrome. <laughs> yeah, it's like you're, you're, nothing's you're gonna shake your mood. Percent, right, like yeah, I mean, and we have to believe that we have a watching world out there, right? And like. Like, like you said, what sort of invitation? Like, come to my, yeah, I want you to believe that God is so good, but everything I talk about is always, yeah. like, hard yeah. or, you know, sad. And, like, there's, like I said, there's no doubt about the brokenness and the state of the world. But at the same time, like, we still have God's grace and goodness so present in our lives. Yeah. I think it's, a lot of times, it's just we're going through life um, kind of robotically in a lot of ways. Yeah. That we don't take those moments to like look around us and say, dang, like God has really been good. Yeah, yeah. Like, let me talk about this. I, yeah. think, I think another big part of yeah. it too is like that I've observed is, you know, when you're going through pain, sure. you'll talk about your pain. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, I question sometimes like how much joy do you actually yeah. have? You know, because exactly. like if, you, if, you're, if, if it's that easy and seamless for you to talk about your pain in your music. Right. And I'm not hearing any joy. Like my next question is like, are you, you have, are you, yeah. yeah, do you have do you joy? Do you have any joy in so your life? And yeah. that's like a huge question that because is, that's yeah. the end goal. You know, if we're going to be in heaven and there's going to be sin no more. Right. And, and, right. and Jesus is our treasure now. And we can experience that, that exactly. heavenly, like, like are, are just cats not pursuing it yeah. or, or are they not feeling it? And yeah. so like making an album like this, I think is so necessary because one, for those people that are Christians, yeah that don't have that joy, right. they go, wow, that's a Christian, like, I want to be as happy as, I remember when I heard uh, my boy Omri yeah. make music, and it was just like, so God, 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 yeah. massive, big, yeah, massive, yeah, yeah. majestic, treasury, you know, like, I thought, wow, I want to worship the God he serves, right. and, and it wasn't right. like, exactly. I'm not a Christian, but exactly. it was like, it was that impactful, where I had to question, like, wow, there's a lot of joy I'm not yeah. having right now, and so... It, it, it challenges the person that doesn't have joy to seek that joy yeah, because it's there. Exactly. Um, and, and also, it also gives another side of the picture, which yeah. is that those that are in Christ have a, a lifetime of joy to seek after and right. find. Exactly. Uh, and give to the world. Exactly. And so, I think that's so good. And um, yeah, like I think what you just said, like when you listen to Omri's music, you were like, I want to worship that God, right? Yeah. And um, I think with this release, you asked like, how has it been received? Yeah. Um, I think within our community, people have loved it um, and on a couple of different levels. Um, people have loved it in a sense that like, I would say it's one of my most like theological albums and people okay. will hear that and be like, what? Like, what are you talking about? Like, sure. I don't hear the- Just cause the words. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't hear, you know, the explanation of the Expiation hypostatic was not union said once. And, yeah. <laughs> and substitutionary atonement. Like, no, but like in a sense that like, we're talking about like, the importance of like the importance of like loving God's creation, yeah. like loving the good things that He's given. Even us. Just joy itself, yeah, and joy, like, and um, I think one, I think it's been received well from people who've lived here in Arizona. Like they felt like, hey man, especially with like some songs like weekends, like yeah. you know, they're like, dang, like I know those places, yeah. like that's cool, like you know, he goes to the same, we go to the same restaurants, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, Lolo's is dope, like yeah, all that. That's cool, but man. On a different level, it's like a lot of my friends and people that I know who are not believers mm -hmm. have been able to hear it and been like, whoa. Like, yeah. I was, I know you do Christian rap, but like, this is not, not what I this is not what I expected. Right. So that's been, and that's honestly, a good feeling. super encouraging. It's a good feeling yeah, when you know your intent was to be God glorified. Right, exactly, like, exactly. So yeah, man, the, the response has been great. And um, yeah, man, I'm just looking forward to. Uh, has it sparked any kind of like, and this is kind of just a recap a little sure. bit, but like, has it sparked any conversations that like you didn't think you would arrive at with any people yet? It um, hasn't been out a long time. Yeah. But like, you know, sometimes I'm yeah. surprised that like some of the things that come out of Yeah, it. I think um, from a story aspect, um, especially when I think about a lot of the people that I've known, you know, in New York and, you know, growing up, my childhood friends, you know, they know like a part of the story. Yeah. Right. A part of my story, which is very significant, obviously, you know, right. that, that beginning and um, very um, uh, forming, you know, part yeah. of my story. But at the same time, like now they're like, whoa, like. I never heard the West Side story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never heard of, like what's going on. So like I've been and vice able, versa. Yeah, exactly. So I've been able to really like go into like what's been going on in my life here through yeah. music, and I think that's that's cool, man. It's a great opportunity to really talk about. Isn't that like, fun? Yeah, man. Like that's probably the best dude. part. Like you make this creation, and then yeah. it sparks something that like 
brings value. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, and I, I always think about that because I'm like, you know, sometimes I'm just in the studio writing a verse or yeah, something. Yeah, and yeah. You, and you think you think, oh, this is so like um, small. Yeah. Right. You think it's so you're small. You're very you're very self. -in yeah. Self -in you're like, oh, okay, I'm writing this verse, but then you don't see like once it's put out and it's like people are able to intake and enjoy it, like all the big things that it actually does. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. That's, That's dope, dope, man. Yeah. So we've we've laid the groundwork here, and mm -hmm. I, I wanted to kind of have a first question to hit you guys with some backstory and yeah. whatnot. Um, and just kind of paint a picture because, sure. you know, Warren's a really multifaceted guy. And so, you know, we can't do it justice in an hour, you know, not yeah, an hour, yeah, but yeah. in an interview. In an interview, yeah, But yeah, at sure. the same time, I want to give a taste and kind of a moment to like, for you to go, wow, like there's a lot going on. I want to search this guy out. Yeah, man. And yeah, so, man. you know, that's Let's what I'm hoping it. to do is kind of put some light on what you're doing, yeah. but also kind of appetize people to the fact that like, hey man, there's way more to, to learn about, you know, yeah. with what you've got going. Sure. So the next question is, um, what so far, what are your two favorite songs off the project? Off the project, um, I would say- uh, And real quick, like why? Yeah, 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 we'll do, uh, Find My Way. Um, I love, uh, it's, you know, not maybe, I guess the most complex song in a mm -hmm. lot of ways. Um, and actually when I made it, I was thinking about a song by you, oh, you know, that's, which I love. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't bite you. But you know, it's kind of the, a, yeah. a, t a song title that like everybody's yeah. gonna do that exactly, song. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. You killed it, and like you know, I feel like um, just having you know the different elements of like Wes's style and then Craig, you know, who's like you know those are two like really close friends. Of that mine. song feels big. Yeah, exactly. I like making those big records. Um, it all came together well. Um, and I would say my second favorite is. Mm, See, it's, it's kind of a battle for me because I love who I am mm -hmm. um, with what I did with Spencer, P.S. Yeah. Ericott, like, because- That's a deep song. Yeah, you know what? Um, because at that time, you know, that was something that um, me and him and I were both in this class and mm -hmm. we were kind of like learning about, you know, how we're shaped by our past and stories. Like at church? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We were in this class and we were kind of learning that and that, you know, the song was birthed out of that. But I love Weekends, man. I think that song is really important, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. just the amount of joy I've seen people get out of it is, has been cool. Yeah, it. even at the listening yeah. party, which we'll talk about yeah. a little bit later. Like, yeah, man. Like, the energy it. when that song came out, it was like people throwing a party. Yeah, exactly. So, so that was like, really cool. That communicated the message very well. So. Yeah, that's dope, man. All right, guys, we're back um let's just go ahead and dive right into it get get us a little more in frame here, here. um so and appreciate the interview by the way i can already tell people are going to get a lot of oh yeah man it. yeah is, i love doing these so here yeah. we go yeah. all right man so hip-hop is you know pretty diverse mm -hmm. and there's so much to choose from these days when it comes to like beat selection sure. and just kind of wrapping the musical selection together um what determines your musical direction yeah um song to song i'm kind of asking more project -oriented. yeah yeah no yeah um when you're making it like what sure. determines what you're picking um, how you're feeling does it change yeah i'm gonna go through kind of like um you know where i was and where i am um, I think there was a time in my life where I was trying to make like the songs that would appeal to like the wider masses in the hip hop people. scene. Yeah, or? in the hip hop oh, scene. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I would try to make the songs that you know I feel I felt like can get the club play, um, or even you know doing CHH maybe the songs that yeah the smashes. Yeah, the yeah. smashes. Yeah. Like, but um, I found out, or I felt like my personal experience is that when you try to make those big songs that way. Um, you end up actually talking to nobody, right? Because you're like, you're, you're just like, you're, you're- Or talking to nobody. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Either end of the spectrum, but like, yeah. So what I what I changed, and I think this was a lot of shaping um, from the church I'm a part of, you know, like yeah. the church I'm connected to, is just like, you know, kind of write things more at the micro, person to person level. So I really try to write things um, from like stories that I know personally, mm -hmm. experiences that I've gone through. Even if we're talking about a subject, let's say like um, uh, social injustice, which is sure. a very, you know, um, complex and yep. um, you know you can very you can talk about it from a very macro level. Yep. But like, what if you you know what if you instead of talking about like oh man things are all messed up and the system's just broken, yeah. like what if you tell the story of you know a person or a new story you hear from like a neighborhood over? Yeah. You? What like in your you know what I mean in your yeah, in your yeah. context? I feel like that can have a better connection or that will make like a deeper connection with people rather than just like yeah. saying like oh you know all this is bad or all that is bad. And the you depth know what I mean? of it will be yeah. real. Exactly. Exactly. So. That's where I'm at as far as like, you know, writing. Mm -hmm. I really try to write from like the ground level up yeah. and from the stories and the people that are around me. Um, as far as beats and stuff like that, um, I don't, I guess this is like a common hip hop or rapper, so to say, like I don't try to like follow all the tropes. Like I, I get it mm -hmm. and I don't have any 
qualms of like, you know, people are trying to do trap. I have no problem with yeah. that. And I, I won't say I won't do it. Yeah. But I really try to find music that like connects, that I can, a beat that I can know that I can make that emotional connection with, yeah. you know, and that fits the song. That well. you like can I, tell yeah. your story on. Yeah, I don't try to force it and like try to say, okay, this album is missing this uh, the Smash song, so yeah. I need to go get a trap beat now and make it happen. Like, yeah. nah, man. Like, yeah. is, Spence always said this, and like when we were making Artificial Christian, it was like, let the music be what it is. Yeah. You know? And yeah, that's that's, big. that's my, uh, yeah, that's my yeah, philosophy. Yeah, and, and you know what? Yeah. Do you find that that process is hard? Because, like, I know, you know, if you're making turn up songs all yeah. day, I mean, bro, you can cut those like cookies. Yeah. You know? But it's yeah. like when you're writing something where you just take even a second breath of, yeah. of just saying, like, is that really what I want to talk about? And you get into even something just kind of deeper yeah. or, or not necessarily deep, but just more creative. Dude, um, yeah. It takes longer to make that kind it, of music. It's great though. You know, one thing I did, um, you know, AB, um, uh, one time, you know, we actually, we were working, we're still working on this project together. And what we did, instead of writing in our siloed sort of studio or room, we went into a parking lot and just like wow. put a beat on, a, on, on the car, in the car, played the beat and just like looked around us. And That's go, dope. You know what I mean? That's and dope. like, it, it, yeah, it takes more time, but it's just realer. Like, yeah. you know, you get yeah. a real experience. You can, it, it's, it's different from talking about a person experiencing homelessness just in like this kind of vague sort of way. Yeah. But when you see it, yeah. you know, you can write about it from a realer sort of yeah. perspective is what I feel like. And you have a conviction yeah. and a, a way you want to tell it. Whereas right. if you're talking about something from thin air. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the energy is different and, and how do you, how do you really care that much about right. what you're talking about? Exactly. Unless you're trying to like be a, make a statement, yeah. you know, like with social injustice, yeah. it's easy to kind of have the podium speech yeah. and read a few tweets and sure, be kind sure. of- Sure, We got a lot of that. We got enough of that. A lot of that, but like- enough of that, yeah. But how, how do I go home and change? Right, exactly. Exactly. And it's harder to do that. Exactly. Yeah, so, no. 100%. That's dope, man. Yeah. Um, now, a lot of people don't know this, but, you know, we spoke to this earlier. Yeah. You've been making music for a long time. Yeah, man. Prior to even being saved. Yeah. Right? Yes. So, um, you have a unique perspective seeing both sides yeah. of the process of making music. Sure. So, what part of your process has changed yeah. in the music making process, if any? Yeah. I think I am more able to make the music that I want to now because my identity is not tied up in being an artist. Okay. Um, like, so it's easier to kind of front. Yeah, okay. exactly. Yeah, I mean, like you know, when you're just in the world or you know in the secular realm making music, you know, you you know, I, I think some people have been able to manage it well. I wasn't able to. I wanted to make hits so that I could be known, yeah. um, and that was like validation for who I am. But like you know, with coming to the knowledge of Christ, I'm like I, my identity is already secure. Yeah, like, it's not in being an artist. It's not been being the hottest rapper. So I can write like the music that I want to, and I think that's actually a common misconception. It's like, oh, if you're a CHH artist, you can only talk about God. It's like, no, yeah, yeah. like I'm free now yeah, to yeah. talk about everything. Yeah, and so, it's and, it, and, yeah. and that's such a, a yeah. diss to say like, oh, you can only talk about God. Yeah. It's like what? the creator of all things. Right, like, exactly. <laughs> there seems to be how, a how, lot of ways you can go with that. How limited do you that. feel I am? <laughs> yeah, so it's, it, <laughs> I, like I'm almost yeah. sad when I hear guys talk about that because yeah. I'm like, Man, I've, I've been in the game since I was 11. Right. Talking about right. that. Well, let me say this too. I think that CHH has come a long way. And like, I think even the opinions, like I don't think people even, I would hope that people don't even have those opinions anymore because there's so many great artists yeah. that have come and they're not just like telling you, um, they're, they're, they're proclaiming the name of Jesus, but they're giving you great worldview and just yeah, like stories sure. from their lives. And yeah, yeah man. Agreed. Like, yeah. Yeah, that, it, just to your point yeah. earlier, like when you're discussing and thinking through things, especially for guys in CHH, it's yeah. so important that you are influenced to talk about things that you're dealing with. Sure. Like sure. that that makes all the sure. sense in the world. Yeah. Um, you care about it more, you're more creative about it. There's more at stake because you got to look people in the eye exactly. who you're talking exactly. about. Exactly, um, exactly. I remember That's on so many real. occasions I used so to say- So real, yeah. Like I was talking to, um, uh, I want to say it might be Wes. Okay. Cause he was making a song where he was commenting on something. And I, I remember just telling him like, when I was doing music that I thought was Christian, yeah. um, but was really saturated in pride. Um, Been there. I used to bring up like my exes. There you go. And yeah. like, and I, for me it was therapeutic. Right. But then I realized as I grew up, like they don't get a chance to respond. Exactly. And yeah, so, that's so not a fair fight. It, yeah. It, that, and that, and yeah. I'm the creative yeah. wizard stringing the narrative that's together. Right. And I that's might not right. even be telling the truth that's as right. much either. That's right. So like how yeah. disrespectful. And like, I had to repent of that because I, I realized like, man, um, 
why not go deal with that? Yeah, exactly. So that when I talk about it, it's coming from a place of mutual right, right, and like being a safe healed. Place. Yeah, yeah. And, man. and that I'm yeah. more mindful of like the hurt that can come oh, with man, that. That's so, so like, good. That's so, so like, good. you know, yeah. even on talking about issues and stuff as an artist in the writing process, being informed by something you're really living through, right, um, challenges you to like consider more things. Exactly. Which I think is a, a, exactly. a discipline that not a lot of people have. Right. Yeah. You just go and write. Yeah. I mean, I've had songs that I've done. And because there's a line in it that I know that would like, you know, offend, you know, yeah. even though I, I may think, oh, that's innocent, but yeah. I know like, I know there's people that are going through stuff can, yeah. and I'm like, no, yeah, I can't, I can't put this out. Seriously. So that, that's yeah, it. so real, man. I second everything you just said. I think that is, yeah. that is that's dope, man. Facts. Yeah. So in my chats with you, you've always made some interesting points about social media. Yeah. Um, yeah. And some of the dangers of it. Yeah. And you tend to, is it safe to say you tend to have a bend towards more, um, local involvement yeah, and engagement with yeah, people. That is so, um, and, and from a missional standpoint even yeah. too, like as far as proclaiming the gospel, being a good friend, yeah. encouraging your community, um, has it always been that way for you? And, you know, cause technology's come a lot of yeah. way, c come a long way there. Has it always been that way for you? Um, and, and, and if not, what experiences shaped the, yeah. the community thing as yeah. a priority for you? Yeah, um, I would, again, um, and this is why I think it's so important. I know we've had these conversations of being connected to a local church, right? Yes. Um, because um, I, it wasn't always this way. You know, yeah. I tried to um, keep my eyes kind of, or, or just try to appeal to like a more national, macro sort of level. Yeah. Um, I, would, I would give a shout out to a uh, pastor my friend, a good friend of mine, Jim Mullins, um, who has kind of like, kind of shifted a lot of that for me. Um, Just what you thought about church. Yeah, and yeah, church and, and like, you know, um, place. Yeah. Right, like God has placed us in this specific place at this specific time. Right. Um, so what does it look like and like to like um, reflect his glory in this place? You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I think even a lot of the issues that we have or we see that go on in our country, um, is because our eyes are looking towards Washington, right? And right. not towards downtown Chandler, yeah. right? Yeah. You know, and, yeah. and not knowing the people who are actually making a, a, a change or more direct, or having the ability to make a direct yeah. impact in our lives, right? It's crazy. Our local sort of leaders, we look towards Washington, which is the big distraction. Right. Um, so yeah, I think I've taken that sort of mindset in my music. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'll say this straight up, like I'm not opposed to social media, I use it. Um, but I think with all things, um, we have to ask ourselves, like, what are the idols of our day, right? Mm -hmm. When you look at scripture, um, ancient Israel had uh, Baals, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Um, and what are the Baals or what are the things in our society that are shaping us, yep. right? And I think social media is definitely one of those yep. things that Absolutely. are shaping us, right? So um, with, all th with all idols, right, there are good things. Right, but they need to be kept in their proper place. Yep. Um, and so when I see social media and I see um, a lot of the, I see a lot of ways that um, it can be used for good. I yeah. think as far as like displaying the goodness of God's creation, yep. displaying the goodness of like things that are happening, like mm. that's good. But when I see the inverse of that and when it's turned to like this sort of like a look at me sort of aspect and Consume, um, yeah, yeah, consumerism and um, yeah, yeah, I see those things happening. Being a viewer and not a participant. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, just the, um, the falsehood of connectedness, right? Mm. Um, my wife is a Dang. therapist, right? Um, and so she, you know, is a lot of the stories I hear from her, what her kids are struggling with is like this loneliness, right? Yeah. And supposedly though, it's we live in the most connected time of all, you know? Yeah. But I think there is obviously no replacement for a true human person to person interaction. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I, th I think it's just like a lot of the things I was talking about as far as like, you know, uh, musically being able to speak from a, a ground level yeah. where you can make that connection, you know? Um, me focusing locally allows me to do that a lot better. You know, allows me to make those connections um, a lot better and um yeah I, I think that that's one way i would say a second way i'm sorry if i'm being a little long no. here um it's like floor. i think social media in a lot of ways has a desensitizing effect mm -hmm. right where we can see a video right of somebody getting punched in the face yeah. right yeah. <laughs> or like somebody i mean if you if you want to go to the darker side right you can see a video of somebody dying yeah right? some yep. you know some, some horrible thing happening you see and what's our what, stuff yeah what's our reaction it's like wow Anyways, Scroll so, past uh, that. Yeah. You know, I'm sorry. Mom, yeah. is the Domino's order? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. And um, 
Yeah, there was an episode of this show, um, Black Mirror. Now, you know, mm. I, was, I would say watch that with some discretion, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, there's an episode of that, you know, where I won't go into it. But yeah, man, like you see this guy who's gone through this horrible thing in his life and, you know, it's being broadcasted and, you know, it happens. And then somebody's just, they're just, it's like an update. It's just an, a momentary update. We stare at it and then we scroll up and like, yeah. what does that say about the value of life? Yeah. Like, you know, how does that say how, like, how is that desensitizing us to, like, the image and dignity of, like, these things that we're seeing, you yeah. know? And, and um, yeah, a lot of the ways that I've seen it shape, or, you know, I, I'm not, you know, I don't think it's positive in a lot of ways, you know? Yeah, there's so, a lack of accountability yeah. there, too, yeah. because I think the truth that it reveals is, like, if there's hurt going on or injustice, yeah. um, and nobody knows that we've seen it. Right because we're in front of a screen, right. we have the option to either be courageous and go outside and do something and right. don't. And the scary reality is that millions of people are seeing terrible things sure. and not doing anything about right, it. Right, exactly. And then on the flip yeah. of that, there are also many people that see people getting hurt or trying to express themselves yeah. and attack people online because it's easier to attack because you're not accountable to that harm exactly. you've just done. Exactly, I mean, so, you see some of the ways that, like, you just go to any, go to your favorite celebrities like Instagram right yeah. now, and look at the comments. Yeah, I mean it's just disgusting. People are people, you know, hide behind you know this veil of a screen, right? Yeah, and throw bombs at people, man. And those are they those eat are people too. made in the image of God. They do that. They do it too. Yeah. Like there, there's a thing on Iggy you know? Azalea yeah. where she uh, had like something like nudity okay. leaked from a photo shoot. Yeah, and like. And you think people are just trolls on the comments. Like people do get hurt by these comments. Sure, and so yeah. like, it, it's not just a, a high school thing yeah. or a kid thing. Adults are getting their lives destroyed and committing suicide right, and things like that. Right. Like Iggy Azalea, she like went offline for several days yeah. because of comments and just that, that yeah. reality. Her like, privacy was violated, yeah. right? Like, yeah, and at nah, the end of the yeah. day, we, we who call ourselves believers, like we know that we will be accountable for these things. Yeah. It's not like God doesn't care about social media. Yeah, dude. You know, so. So hard to steward it well. Yeah. It has a, amazing potential. Right. At and scale, I, I do say that. Yeah, I but, do agree with that 100%. But yeah. You have to have a layer of accountability around you that can identify when it's getting out of hand. Exactly. And a lot of cats exactly. are just out here running wild with yeah. a, a TV remote and acting like three exactly. year olds. So. And, and it's CHH, right? Like, I, I would say even more so because, I mean, we shouldn't be seeking validation in yeah. the amount of likes, shares. Like, I understand that like, you want to do a good job, but where is your identity? That's what it all boils down to at the end of the day. Where is your identity found? Is it found in, you know, the amount of people share your video or is it found in, like, the person and life of Christ and the love of Christ? Yeah. That's huge, man. Yeah. That's huge. And, and unfortunately, we've got two lanes now where... Yeah. The, the, the guy who closes himself off from the world um, runs into the dangers of just not knowing that it can be done well. Right, right. Um, so they might have less resources. That's right. Which isn't a terrible thing, yeah. but it has limitations. Yeah. Um, and then you got the guy who's kind of just out there saturated right. with no self-control right. and loses and falls into other temptations. Yeah. And so I think that draws a, a point out that we just need better examples. Yeah, yeah, that's true. We need, I, to, I, we I need would more agree models with that. Yeah, we need good that models. are in both lanes yeah. doing both very well. Yeah, because social media is not going anywhere. Yeah. I mean, whether I like it, whether I use it or not, it's not going anywhere, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. So like, yeah, we do need good people to model that. And um, yeah, I, I don't think that's necessarily what my calling is yeah. personally. Um, but yeah, I mean, just for me, the fact that I, I am not able, or actually not, I, the fact that I don't want to like find my validation there, I don't feel the need to find validation there, is a, it's huge for me because yeah. for so much of my life, that's where you my did, identity man. was found. Yeah. So that's yeah. amazing, man. And the goal there, I would yeah. imagine, would be is that for the guy who feels called into that la same yeah. lane as you, to have a model like you, yeah, to say, man. okay, I made this decision. Yeah. Now I have someone to look up to, right. to, to not be underutilized in, in how I pursue that. That's right. And, That's uh, right. And, and we have just people in every lane just doing things well and cross collaborating when necessary. Yeah, yeah. To just be yeah, a family yeah. of God, like pursuing exactly. that mission. Exactly. Yeah, 100%, man. That's dope, man. So we're going to come to a little bit of a close here. I, I let the people know, man, what's on the horizon for you musically? Yeah. Um, anything else you'd like to share? Uh, and at the end, tell people like how they can tap yeah. into Warren Christian. Sure, man. So um, I'm working on the second part of Dust Party. Um, it's going to be tentatively called The Hangover, right? And uh -huh. so we're going to get into <laughs> like a more sort of introspective um, sort of aspect, I guess, view. Um, 
But at the same time, uh, I think there is still elements of joy and stuff in there too. Okay. But just from a different kind of like viewpoint. So I'll be, I'm working on that. Um, I, my hope is to get another artificial Christian project done before um, the end of this year. Um, I know people are fiending for it. Yeah, yeah, no, a lot of people have asked and um, yeah, man, we gotta have you on there. <laughs> <laughs> Follow um, up to, uh, yeah. what was the record? Um, give me your heart. Mind game. Yeah, mind game, there you go. Anyway, um, but yeah, so I wanna get, get that done. Um, and um, I think a big thing, a big role that I've taken personally recently is just helping other artists and like shaping their music and sound. Which we um, need also. Yeah, getting behind the boards, you know, trying to just um, have them like, just kind of building on my experience, you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, that's important, that's been fun. Um, but yeah, yeah, those are a couple of things I'm working on. And as far as reaching me, um, it's, you know, I'm on social media, but it might be a little difficult to get at me. Nah, uh, Instagram is It's Warren Christian. Um, same thing on Facebook. I, actually, all, across all my platforms, it's, it's Warren Christian. So uh, you can reach me there. And um, yeah, thanks for doing this, man. That's I appreciate dope, man. it. Yeah. Well, guys, I hope you guys found this uh, to be valuable. Just hearing somebody else's perspective. Yeah. Um, Warren's been in this for a long time. Uh, I believe that he knows, you know, the love of Christ and has accepted him in his heart sure. and has done, you know, is just being shaped in some amazing ways yeah. for the kingdom. And so uh, I hope you guys uh, are attracted to his testimony yeah. uh, because he's a real one and um, and Appreciate he's a great it. model to um, learn from and to hear his experience. So check him out online, makes great yeah. music, um, you know. Yeah. And thank you, um, just to remind you guys, you know, I wanna do a lot more of these just talking about thank the you. musical process. This is important, and this is important. Yeah, man, and yeah. so uh, feedback is always appreciated, guys. Yeah. You can catch uh, my brand, Conscience, at Conscience Hip Hop, so conscienceshiphop.com. It's Conscience Hip Hop across all social media platforms. Here's a demo of the t-shirts we got coming. Look at that. They'll be in a whole bunch, of, not this color, this is yeah. just a tester, but um, we've got merch coming, exclusive merch, which we'll talk about oh. later. But um, yeah, guys, just tune in. We wanna hear what you guys um, are enjoying and we wanna bring you guys value. So anyway, we could do that. We'd love some commentary on that and uh, hope you guys enjoy, man. Yeah, Thanks sounds again. good. Thank you, for thank you for tuning in. Peace, Peace guys.